Okay, welcome back to whatever we never called this. Not I don't think we ever actually gave it a name. We should get around to that. Mm, we'll do it next time. Uh, who cares about Deus Ex? Not like Square Enix does. <laughs> oh, you are so correct. Remember, like, they were supposed to be making, like, all these Marvel games or something? What ever happened yeah. to that either? You know... No, more Final Fantasy XV DLC. That's it. Yeah, more Final Fantasy, less Deus Ex, and quickly shove out uh, Tomb Raider. And not even have Crystal Dynamics work on it, have Eidos make it. So yes, hello everyone. That was a very bad intro, but... We, we don't do intros, <laughs> like, at all. Uh, yeah, we don't do intros, whatever. Yes. Nah. So, um, I hear, uh, we already did this, the, I guess you would call it the pre-show, um, <laughs> discussed yeah. how... Uh, Raymond here has some topics to discuss since it has been a very long time since this thing has been recorded. Yeah, which is uh, partly on me because I've been busy. And we were going to do this in October, but I had a medical thing come up and I had to take October and November off. And I sleep all the goddamn time. I would call that medical. Sleep is important, you know. Yeah. So, you know what? We're humans. Oh, well. So. <clears throat> oh, man. So, I guess let's start with YouTube, since we put this on YouTube. So, what has gone on? Do you want to talk about, like, the elephant in the room? There's a few things. Which could... elephant in the room? You mean, like, the issue with monetization? Like, the shooting? The... Sure, we, we can go. Let's talk monetization first. Since that doesn't affect me. And I don't know. No, it, it never will. No, never will. Unless, like, you get, like, picked up by, like, some gigantic channel. Yeah, and unless... then, like, you start making multiple aliases for yourself. <laughs> yep. So, YouTube, if I remember correctly, they changed their requirements to be it, partnered. They... It's, um, based on, like, your total number of views, and you have to have, like, a sane amount of subscribers or whatever for whatever period of time. Yep. And there's a watch like uh amount of oh, yeah, hours it's a time -based thing. Yeah. yeah it has to be a watch specific amount of hours which doesn't really work for certain types of channels i remember animation channels getting hit very hard yes. with this due yeah. to the way they produce content with the videos being while still getting a lot of views due to the nature of animation being very uh time consuming you don't make animations typically that long mm -hmm. so uh, the way YouTube's new system worked, it just removes their monetization. Yeah. So uh, a bunch of channels ended up getting an email uh, about a month prior to them being uh, their, their monetization abilities being terminated. And a bunch of channels just got dropped and they were all so pissed. And understandably enough. Yeah. So, YouTube has been known... I, I think I've heard this from somewhere. I forget who. But... um. With the amount of money that Google throws at YouTube and the amount of skilled people, they um, continue to provide a worse and worse service for, like, everyone. Mm. Including, like, what was the, the most recent one to uh, um, get away from that for a tiny bit was um, a recent tweet of how they were auto-generating thumbnails yes. for, like, 0.3% of a person's subscriber base uh, that no one asked for. And for whatever test they planned on doing it for. And I don't actually know why they were running the test. I, I met, yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, it was YouTube took off, um, what was it, personal thumbnails like you and I can make to test out a new way of generating in video thumbnails, which was really strange. And I don't quite understand the point of it. But. Okay. Probably to test their own software, but I guess. of course, like, they didn't actually, like, really tell anyone or, like, allow no. it to be opt-in or whatever. That, that's the problem with YouTube. They will change their term and services or, like, add something to it and tell no one. And then when something happens, like, oh, it, it's been there. Didn't you guys read it? No. You should be telling your creators this, but you aren't. Remember YouTube Heroes? Remember how that thing oh, just dear failed God, out that... the gate? <laughs> I still see things on YouTube, like... Not called it's YouTube like, caption Heroes. This video. Yeah, it's caption like, this video. I'm like, no. And, oh, Christ. Or do your work for you? Yeah, no. Or, like... 
it's you like Google has robots and shit that can understand what I'm saying. You're telling me you can't just throw that at a YouTube video and figure it out. For God's sake. And even then, like, isn't it like up to like the creators of the actual videos to close caption their own stuff? I think so. I think uh, some some channels can have viewers do it. Don't quote me on this, uh, but I th think it is. It, I'm not sure, but you think it would be. So, uh, wrapping back to monetization. Uh, so a lot of channels got dumped off, and then about not even a week later, I'm not quite sure the timeline of this, somebody goes to the YouTube offices in California with a gun and ends up shooting two or three people? Uh, and then killed herself. Uh, the, what was the woman's, um... It was a woman, which was very interesting. Which I thought at the time was quite interesting, because you never really hear about a female shooter. Um, her name was Nassim Agdam. She was 39 years old. Mm. Um, she had, um, to my knowledge, like, a fairly, like, average channel. I didn't know much about the content that she produced or whatever. She wasn't that she big. Was, no. She wasn't huge, but she had enough to be monetized prior to the changes. Oh, and speaking of monetization, you know what's actually very interesting? If you ever go to, like, the forums or whatever, questions about monetization, because, um, I use a script extender to um because i don't like the current theme of youtube because it looks too much like a mobile right um system and like it doesn't even work for me sometimes like say if the big theme is out the new one mm -hmm. uh sometimes playlists don't work for me so i use a hmm. script extender to go back to like uh i don't know what year it was this introduced 2015 i don't know right. um that layout no but, I mean, that's um, smart Every other question on the YouTube help forum, when I, like, originally posted that, like, oh, can I go back to the old forum? And then, like, of course, like, no one replies. And then I, get, I just leave a spiteful, well, I'm just going to do it myself. <laughs> Every other question about monetization. Oh, my God. Ugh. Very big issue. Oh, it is. And it's going to continue being an issue. Because YouTube can't figure it out. So... Of course, with monetization, it always gets affected by some idiot. So fast forward to, I think it was January. Like, it was like January 3rd. We haven't even made it three days into 2018 when goddamn jackass Logan Paul goes to the suicide forest and films a dead body. Now, I remember this. Oh, talk about Logan Paul. Um, yes. Yeah, he went to Aokikahara, which is uh, the forest um, in the base of Mount Fuji. And um, his channel is still up at the time of recording and like he honestly didn't even get that much bad publicity over it and he no. didn't actually get any reprimands from the it at all only thing youtube did was take away his monetization for like a week or some amount of time that didn't matter and he then he bragged about getting a million subscribers in the time that he didn't have it and oh i so i never watch his videos but this I saw the thumbnail. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what is this? I watched it. I don't think I've seen a more disrespectful video on YouTube, and that's quite saying something. It was just horrible to watch. And then he he's like, I'm sorry, I'll do better. And his next video is him doing stereotypical Japanese stuff in Japan, running around being an American asshole. And it's just like... This is where we're at now. This yep. is this is who people watch. Ah, These... topical. I mean, like, obviously, we haven't recorded this in, what, like, half a year? Yeah, yeah, it's been, like, six months or something. But, uh, yeah, it, got, it has to be covered. But, oh, my God. And that caused, like, a new, like, apocalypse-esque uh, escapade to go on, which was just complete bullshit. Oh, my God. So, I... And then also with his brother, who's also an asshole, who's getting sued left and right. I. This is this is what happens, Ben. So, I don't know if you're familiar with this story. Did you hear about so this? This happened in the U.S. Uh, between a couple, uh, Mona Lisa and Pedro Ruiz, and they they did like, kind of like stunts pranks mostly kind of stunty kind of videos 
Was this the woman? Were Were this the people that like um held the book in front of their face and like shot uh, the other one? Yes. Oh yeah. So for if you did not hear about this one, so Pedro, in all of his wisdom and not googling what happens when you shoot a 50 caliber desert eagle round into a book held a book in front of his chest it was like a i think it was like an encyclopedia or something and had his at the time pregnant wife shoot him from i don't know not even 10 feet away it was closer than that and he died and she actually recently got sentenced too because she was arrested and found guilty of doing it of manslaughter uh, uh, oh, of manslaughter but she got a very small sentence because they didn't release the video but they re released the transcript of the video actual video because they did record it yes. she did not want to do it and she was like pleading with him in the transcript but he kind of like pushed her to do it so yeah. Uh, to think that all could have been avoided. <laughs> oh my goodness! It, what a complete waste of a of a life, and just stupidity. What else do we have? Uh, do you remember Nicole Arbor at all? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so Nicole Arbor, do you know Matt uh, Matthew Santoro on YouTube at all? He does like top tens, kind of thing. No, ball guy. <laughs> You're not wrong. So he does. He's like he was like a big name top ten guy, and he was dating this girl named Nicole Arbor, and then they broke up because apparently she uh, domestically abused him. Uh huh. But she was all like, all out on social media, like, no, I didn't fuck him, all that kind of thing. It was like a ugly back and forth. Yeah. But uh, recently, which. I forget how recent this is, but I'm looking at this list. Uh, she started encouraging fat shaming on her channel. Oh. In a video. So yeah, that... It's... These are like little dumb stuff. Uh, so next... Oh, is, is Bully Hunters on the docket? I hope Oh my is. god, Bully, yes! Yes, okay, let's yeah. just get to, let's just get to Bully Hunters. Yeah, who fucking cares, you two? <laughs> oh my god. Did you, did you watch that entire thing they did? Oh yeah! You know, they just... Tell the story, tell the story. I want to, like, relive Holy it again. Holy shit. So, they, Bully Hunters, was this idea of how if you're in-game, someone's, like, bullying you, being an asshole, you could, like, like send in an email or something or message them, and they would send someone onto the game you're playing just to repeat Yes, and so the way that they um, was being a dick portrayed to this was, I think, with a private Counter-Strike match. Right, and... Yes, it was in like it was in like a small arena too, and they it was like filled. And they and had they a person had come in, but of course, like this doesn't work minded. because with like any other sort of rant, and this could like, and the way that they were describing it, it's like it could apply to any sort of game. But with the way that matchmaking works, especially with like Counter Strike, you can't yes. join a game like that if it's just like a random online game. And um, then they started um, mm. what it was a specific type of headphones that they were um, marketing uh, that had the Bully Hunters ones. And, um... Yes. Well, then there was the big fallout from the actual, like, one of the lead streamers from it, uh, who, like, actually started actually saying slurs. <laughs> yeah. And it, it just fell apart from there, oh, to my man. knowledge. What a shit show. Yep. So all the sponsorship that they got for that, which was, I think, Elgato, like, big-name companies like that, they're all like, hey, we're not a part of this at all. Everyone backed away. Granted, it was, like, a really flawed died. idea from the start. I understand the idea of wanting to uh, prevent harassment in an online space, but it sure. games aren't structured like that. You can't really send people into specific online instances that easily. I wonder. Do they, do they have a website still up? Oh, well, maybe. Check Bully out. Hunters. Bully Hunters. Um, no, there's just articles about him, but... Uh... Nope. I can't even find it. 
Oh, that's great. And the dumb video they did, it was the most scripted thing. Like, they were trying to play it off. Oh, it was scripted. scripted. No, it was definitely. Oh, it was completely scripted. And oh my goodness. Well, they had, like, um, some guy uh, talking to the um, presumed female um, player. Um, yeah. Just, just saying, like, really, like, disparaging remarks. I forget the exactly. But, uh... Yeah. Then, like, the person would come in repeatedly killing them, and then I think, the, uh, what, did it end with some rage quitting? I think so, something like that. Uh. Oh, but no, it, it was very yeah. scripted, it was very fake, and it ultimately was a scam, because you can't really, at least with the way that currently online games are structured, you can't do that. Yeah, no. Uh, what, what, good intention, just terrible, terrible all the way around. Yes. Okay. Uh, something dumb that the kids do, Ben. They all ate Tide Pods because. Oh yeah, the Tide Internet. Pods. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, that, that was, was the dumb. big meme, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was odd. And then after Tide Pods, they started snorting condoms, and pulling it through their mouth. Oh, I didn't see the snorting condoms thing. That was. Yeah, it wasn't big. as big as the Tide Pods, but it did come after. It was really strange. I don't quite understand. There. I, uh, I'm sure. I imagine some sure probably did, and like they'd have to go to a hospital to get the thing removed. Oh, uh, that'd be really funny. Uh, I would laugh. Okay. Ugh. All right. So, let's move to because I gonna. Well, I'm gonna keep thinking, but I think I mean do a quick Google. Yeah. Uh, E3 just occurred. Yes, video games. All terrible. Um, so what, what did you think of E3? Um, half in the bag, I guess I'd say. Um, EA's, I wasn't expecting anything, and, like, I was still disappointed. Ubisoft was also, like, pretty bad. Um, mm -hmm. Microsoft, and, like, we'll go over probably the individual conferences after I give, like, my rundown of what I generally uh, thought of all of them. Um, sure. Microsoft, while still having a decent selection, none of the games were actually Microsoft exclusive, so it didn't actually make me interested in buying like an Xbox One. Uh, Sony's had like a bit more talking than I would have uh, cared to, and didn't yeah. show as many games that I'd like. Um, not to mention that Sony has now gone back into their um, place of hubris again, uh, and we'll probably get into that later. And Nintendo was Nintendo, but I don't didn't really care much about most of the games that they had, anyways. I so quickly for Nintendo. I think I said to you like four months ago, "What if Snake was back in uh, Smash?" Oh, oh yeah. And sure enough, Snake is back in Smash somehow. Oh yeah, because who cares? Konami money. Yep. It's just, <laughs> we need to make Metal Gear Survive didn't make money. Quick. Yeah, yeah, what a Four goddamn surprise. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I remember I, I was talking, I was like, you know, I'm going to try out that demo. I did not try out that demo, and I'm glad I did not. Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's it's horrible. That The story for that game is so dumb. Well, of course, oh. what did you think? The story was going to be a masterclass, like, work? I was expecting at least something, but it's just horrible. They don't even have cutscenes. It's like when characters talk to each other, you have like... It's like a codex sequence, but dumber. And it's... Oh. Okay. I don't... I don't want to talk about garbage. Okay, back to E3. Back to other garbage. E3. Uh, I remember the EA, con EA conference was whatever. I didn't care. It was... Sports. They brought... Yeah, they at one point they were doing like an esport type game. Oh, of for a mobile, mobile game for the new Command and Conquer, which is yeah. like they reduced to a mobile game. And apparently, they had some screen like boards it. just shouting over it. This like unexciting, unappealing little mobile game, going like, "Oh, he's gonna get it!" Yeah. Why? And they, I can't believe they continue to do that and i like how they talked about like oh no loot boxes no loot boxes like even though they were the company that like popularized that they, the, the guy who was like doing the main talking for ea he was the guy who worked at uh like the, the the company who makes fifa 
yeah. who and was a part of the original team who introduced the microtransactions into that game, which were some of the first in gaming. So, a little bit tone deaf to have him out there. Yeah. Yeah, they EA just had a bunch of games I did not care about. What was anymore. very interesting to me was I I don't actually care about EA games, but like when they were showing Ansem, how they kept looping concept art and like footage yes. is like oh they don't they don't have um, anything here. Yeah, no, they got none. I'm. I am so like cautious of that game because I don't believe it's. It is. It is EA's like equivalent for Destiny. Right. And I really feel that this is not going to go well. And I feel Same. that um this might be the end of Bioware as we know it. Yes, I would agree. with Which that. I personally can't say I care that much about because ev- anyone that really had any um talent at Bioware is been long gone. Yes. Ugh. And I, I think recently they said they would like to go back to Mass Effect, but it's not going to happen at this rate. Yeah, um, they shouldn't have outsourced it to... I don't even... What was it? They outsourced it to Montreal? Oh, gee. Why are we Montreal? They might have. They might have, yeah. But either way, it was terrible. Yeah. And... Oh, man. Yeah, five years and however many billions of dollars for that. Yep. Can't believe that. And, okay, so EA, they just had a bunch of more sports stuff, if I remember correctly. Yeah, sports, who cares? Shoot the sports yep. ball. Did they have cars? Can you fuck the car? I think they... Uh, no, that's Ubisoft who has the crew. The crew. They might have had... A, they might have had a car game in there. That, that is a bit from a 2012, I think, what is it, E3? Uh, it, was, it was a Sony event in, like, February. Um, was it, uh, no, was it Microsoft um, E3 or whatever, like, from 2012? Um, and uh, it, from Video Gamer uh, UK or whatever, back when they had, like, interesting people on? <laughs> It was like, yeah. ah, oh. they just want to be inside them. Okay, yeah, that, they're talking about the Drive Club guy. Yeah, Drive Club. Oh, man. Which was an okay game, but it didn't do well. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, God. that's so funny. <laughs> okay, uh, who was next up? EA, was it Microsoft who was next, or was it Ubisoft? Uh, no, it was Microsoft that was next. Um, they had, they, had ga- they had a lot of games. Yes, they did. I mean... Did, yes, like uh, Gears of War Funko Pop. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be, hey, look, we're making Funko Pops of Gears of War. No, it's a game. Uh, it's an actual game. Uh, Funko Pops are terrible. Little... They're whatever. Uh, and then they, they announced Gears of War 5, which... I don't care. Okay, whatever. And, and they're they, so and much every... larger than the fiend wearing the fridges in, as power armor. And all like the mm. women are so much more smaller than them. <laughs> yep. Uh, they showed off Anthem at the very end, which that was, EA. was just was that EA? Yes, that was EA. Oh uh, well, forgot about that. Yeah, okay. They showed it off, which they showed off a whole bunch of nothing. It was just a trailer, a CG trailer showing a whole bunch of nothing, and everyone still collectively lost their shit apparently on the internet. Uh. But I don't care about it that much. It's made by the Witcher guys and it plays like I forget what they said. Whatever. Show me it when it's Wait, no, no, out. the Witcher guys Oh, you're thinking about Cyberpunk. Uh Oh, what did I say? You said Ansem. Oh Christ, I'm an idiot. Uh no no no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Yes. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, that was a see what what did you think of that then? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, personally, I mean, I like The Witcher 3 fine enough. Um, I I know a lot of people actually really, really like it. It was, like, right. bare for me. Um, I don't really have that much of an interest in Cyberpunk. I'm sure it'll be fine, but I don't think it really piqued my interest in any real degree. Yeah, that's same. Apparently people like The Witcher enough for it to get a Netflix show. 
Oh, uh, yes, kind of but nice. here's the thing about that. That is not by the people that do CD Projekt, uh, by CD Projekt, um, the people behind the games. This is behind the actual, really? um, creator of The Witcher, oh. who, really? if you may remember, doesn't like the video games. Yeah, I do remember Because, that. <laughs> according to, um, sources, um, he doesn't get royalties from them. He, um, just... originally just sold the rights to, um the games for a lump sum back in the day, probably because he didn't understand how much video games could make, or from being from Poland and where, like, video game piracy is, like, really big, he didn't really think it would mm -hmm. be that profitable in the first place. Uh, a poor idiot. Oh, uh, yeah, poor idiot, but, like, oh, man, he gets mad and how he talked about how, like, all... There was, um, this one interview with him, uh, back when, uh, this all came to light um, mm -hmm. talking about how he, how all of his books were, like, fully translated and popular before the games, and that wasn't even <laughs> true, like, by the time, by the time that even, like, I think, second game came out, Assassin of Kings, not all the books were translated in English, I mean, I don't even know if they <laughs> still are, and they're definitely not easily accessible. Right. Oh, man. That's funny. Okay, then where were we? Uh, back at Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft. Sekiro, a other from software game that uh, always scratches the itch that I constantly have. Yes. It will be more leaning towards an action game with actually a bit of stealth. So I'm actually curious to see how that works. Yeah. Uh, they showed off Neville May Cry, which I was kind of shocked. Yeah, uh, well, they showed it off. I was surprised that Microsoft got to show it off. Um, yeah. DMC Five uh, has been known to be in the works for quite a while, but um, Capcom made them be all hush hush about it, and yeah. eventually uh, they were. I feel like if it wasn't announced like at E3, there would have been a leak by oh yeah well there already were leaks and people were already getting frustrated but there would have been probably an even bigger one oh definitely definitely and uh, some, something that i was reading the other day about that apparently the better you play the game the more like quote quote awesome the music gets so if you suck at the game the music's gonna suck apparently oh they're using uh, um the uh revengeance and uh bayonetta a um, musical system in a different way you know how during those boss fights during certain phases the vocals will just kick in yes so yeah I, it's still gonna be like the same principle but it's gonna be based on your ranking and mm, how uh okay. stylish and how um well good you are at avoiding damage that's interesting. I, I kind of like that. And, like, sure, it's interesting. Nice little thing. Nice little thing. Uh, they also announced so in the in the lieu of a Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and Spyro Reignited, they announced that Battle Toads will be coming back. Which, okay, sure. I guess. Why not? I mean, rare is a dead are... company. <laughs> yes. Uh, next you're gonna get, like, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day or something stupid. Well, they... That's been teased, like, multiple times, but it gets cancelled multiple times. <laughs> Remember Project Spark or whatever? Like, can Yeah! <laughs> Scalebound. Cancelled. Uh, Microsoft... Cancelled. About, like, Microsoft does adore cancelling games. They do. They really do. Oh my god. Do, uh... How many studios did they buy up? Because the end of their conference was like, they hey, bought look at all these studios Ninja we bought. Theory, um, which used to make Ninja Gaiden. No, 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 they didn't. No, they didn't. Uh, no. Ninja, uh, Ninja Theory made The Bad Devil May Cry. Um, Senua Hellblade, which, while apparently, like, interesting to a degree, it still kind of amounts to a walking simulator. <laughs> oh, we'll get back to walking simulators later, but oh. yes, go on. Um, I don't remember who else they bought out. They bought out, they bought like five, five or six companies, I believe it was, uh, which, 
that's okay. You know what? Put your money where your mouth is, Microsoft, because you didn't have any first party stuff for the past five years. Yeah, I also feel like always very bizarre when they have like Japanese games there, like JRPGs. I feel like they're being held hostage. Yeah. Like, no, you don't have to be here. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just like, how much money did you throw into Microsoft? Just, just give me a number. It had to be a lot. Oh no, they definitely had to be a lot because they definitely tried pretty hard this year. Oh, they really did. They really Yeah, did. they just don't no, have any of their own games. Yeah, no, they don't. They just... Christ. They don't. I can't even... I don't even think there's that much else noteworthy from Microsoft that I can... No, they had on. an indie sizzle reel, but like sadly they didn't give yeah. those games any time of day at all. Yep. Uh, let me think, let me think. Uh, oh, Halo. They started off with Halo Infinite, I think it's called. Uh, That's a thing. Another Halo game for all those people who are wanting one. I don't yeah, I don't care. Uh, I guess uh, but, I guess that wraps up Microsoft. Other is there anything else to talk about from them? I don't think so. You know, I'm really glad they don't talk about the goddamn Hollow Lens anymore. You remember? Remember? When oh the yeah, when they like were working on was that their answer to VR or whatever? Yes, and it sucked. It came out, and it was horrible from what I heard. I didn't even know that was a thing. Microsoft, yeah. like, additional hardware peripherals have proven to be not great. No, not at all. Remember how much money they put into the Kinect for the Xbox One, and it was still bad? <sighs> they put too much in. Way too much. Yeah, don't be black and use a Kinect. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so uh, Ubisoft then. Ubisoft dancing. Every guy. We know it's coming too. Every year. Just Dance 2018 Just for the Wii. <laughs> That's real. Oh, my goodness. Because people still buy the goddamn Wii version. Yeah. Why Is not? Is Ubisoft the only people still making Wii games? I, I, I'm pretty sure they have to be. And like they, they still are like uh, that type that like uh, brings in celebrities, and they still have like I guess like, like the show the EC conferences that um, used to be more uh, common in like previous years. You know, people yes. just want to see like game, 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 game. And Ubisoft was not really like that at all. Nope. They Ubisoft just does their own thing, and good for them, I guess. You do it. I expect the weird stuff at uh, Ubisoft, and they deliver every year on that. Yeah, I mean, granted, I don't really ever care for their conferences and actual, Same. like, content-wise. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2, uh, make yes. our art for us, and yep. we, we will not pay you. We will not pay you. Here is Joseph Gordon-Levitt, actor man from Hollywood. Yeah. Listen to him. Listen to him. You recognize him. You Do you want to <laughs> make art for Batman him? Batman movie. Yes, make some art for him so we don't have to. What a weird thing. And apparently that game is also a prequel to the original game, if I heard correctly. Which is quite odd, but okay. Assassin's Creed, another one. So I remember last year, Eliza's Tufexas tweeted out that he was going to be heard at an E3, but it was going to be this year. And I was like, oh, maybe he'll be at a Sony... Or something, but he was at Ubisoft, and he is the voice of Leonidas in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is quite interesting. But okay, that's a game. Interested? I'll check it out. Raymond, you can Never. now play as a female character. It's so progressive, despite the fact that like the previous game allowed you to play as a female. It's not progressive if you do the exact same thing. Yep. They finally figured out how to make female models, Ben. Amazing. But they already had that! Don't, like, take away <laughs> your accomplishments! <laughs> and say, no, no, we're being progressive. Like, no, you already did the goddamn same thing. Oh my god, it's so dumb. Uh, what is Jade Christ. Raven even doing like... now? Is she alive? Wasn't she working on it? Wasn't Jade Raven, the original... Person, but oh. wasn't she working on like EA Battlefront or like some sort of Star Wars game with Jamie Hennig or whatever? Yes, they were making the 
the, the Star Wars game yeah, but was that supposed failed. to be like Uncharted. Yeah, but, but it got that's all Jamie Hennig when... No, Uncharted. I'm apparently a good writer. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that got canceled. Now yeah, I don't got... know what the hell she's doing. Yep. Uh, and then, oh God, the Microsoft conference. I completely forgot this. They they cut to, so I hate. They also had um like a some online personality hosting their show. Oh. Uh, and it was super horrible. And but then they cut to one point to this uh, this woman, which nothing against her, but it's always just kind of cringy when you start interacting with the audience. Oh, it was her. Did she had glasses? I think maybe. I think so. I forget. Uh, but anyway, they cut to, like mid conference. They cut back to her, which fine. Someone needs to talk every now and again. They don't, but sure. And they cut to her, and she's sitting next to this guy in the audience, and she's sitting next to, I believe his name is Vince Zam. Pella, who used to be the co-head at Infinity War during, like, Modern Warfare uh-huh. 2 before they split. And, like, hey, Vince, you got something to show us? And he's like, no. No. Well, you want to tell us about something? I, I guess I can tell you. We're making a Star Wars game because Titanfall 2 didn't do good. Oh, so well, what a shame. So we've given Star Wars. <laughs> and Titanfall 2 was apparently all right, but it did not Yeah, no, of course it doesn't well. sell. Why would it sell? Yeah. So, they're making a Star Wars game. I, I remember that, and that complete cringe fest of them just, yeah, we don't have anything to show, I can tell you about it, I guess. Oh my god. Oh, and see, uh, so, remember Mr. Caffeine? Do you think he's alive? Oh god. Mr. Caffeine. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Aisha That's Tyler, like, they stopped bringing her out. I... Yes, yeah, so they stopped bringing her out. Which, alright, fine. Yes. And they stick a uh, oh god what is this an Eve Goumer I think Eve Go uh, he's the CEO uh, yeah the CEO they they bring him out more and they also brought out oh god Mr uh, Nintendo Mr Nintendo shit uh, Miyamoto Miyamoto was it Miyamoto they brought I don't him know. Out. I, I wasn't thinking, it was I, for that at that point and for the uh, Rabbids yes the Mario yeah, Rabbids they did it last year. For Mario Rabbids. And they had, like, a orchestra playing the Donkey Kong music. Because they had a Donkey Kong DLC come out for that game. Of course. There was... Then they also announced a different game. It was, like, a space-flying game. And they had um, Star Fox in it. Oh. Then they, they had... Brought it out. Um... Oh, no, go ahead. It was, uh... it was really weird. And they gave him, like, a little figurine. But he doesn't speak english yes, so i don't know if they understood anything no. they were saying probably not um really well he knows to a degree but uh then yeah, they fine. would bring out um their division two and have their fake gamer talk oh god and it's always yes. so fake as hell whenever they have so um this commentary just going over and over content that that's not how people talk no not at all not at there are the female there. You know what they will be saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vagina. Oh God, we real um, gentlemen. Shit. Did uh, did EA EA is Battlefield Five, right? Yeah, Battlefield. Oh boy, we do we want to tackle this? Go back to World War Two. Like, oh God. So yeah, so they're back in World War Two because unoriginal people. It doesn't. Unoriginal. Yeah, people no, like people don't want to buy shoot bang future game. Buy World uh, War Two Nazi. And they didn't really want that either. It turned out. So yeah, so Battlefield went from Battlefield One in World War One, which was whatever, and now they're in World War Two, and. It has, oh, it Ben, I don't know if you heard this, and it might come as a shock, so prepare yourself, but, uh, it has women in it. That is the correct response, Ben. We don't care. But apparently, yeah. the internet has a problem with this, Ben. Women were in war, and, like, what? Who cares? Why is it an Who issue? Who gives a shit? This is, like, actually, like, not an issue at all. It's not. And the, um, the guy at EA, he actually had a very good response I liked. He's like, this is what we're going to be doing from the future here on out. Deal with it. Like The, ba- is the only thing I said. don't like stuff like this is like that people uh, will, uh, de- developers or companies will use it as an attempt to like sound far more progressive than they are. 
And, like, yes. this is going to be jumping slightly to um, Bethesda's E3 conference, which I, which I forgot, as well as the Ball Oh, I forgot about that. Um, yeah. How, like, they'll talk about Wolfenstein, and, like, oh, how they'll always just say, fuck Nazis, and, like, the series was always about killing Nazis. But, like, yeah. I feel like now they're just using, like, the current political climate as an excuse to just, like, I don't know, market Wolfenstein more? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, you know, yeah, basically. Uh, I can't can't believe we're still having issues with the fact that women are in these games. And people are like, they're so historically accurate, though. No. These games are not historically accurate. Get it out of your goddamn head. And just let people play as a character model they want to play as, for God's yeah, sake. Yeah, it really just doesn't matter. Shut up. And it's like, it's a woman in the trailer with a prosthetic arm shooting guns in war, which is just slightly ridiculous, because it's just like, okay, yes, people had prosthetic arms in war, but it's just like, if you're calling that historically accurate to begin with, dear God, and you have an issue with it, I can't believe this. Uh man. No, Raven, shoot the Nazis, shoot the bad men. Shoot the Nazis, yeah. Shoot, shoot the bad people. Uh, okay, we were at Ubisoft. We're still at Ubisoft. Uh, uh, fucking. Division, what else are Division 2? Who cares? Division's in DC. Division DC. Fake gamer talk. <laughs> uh, do they have anything else? I don't think Did they? so. No, who cares? Whatever. Oh, what okay. do you want to go okay. on to next? Uh, there's uh, Sony's, Nintendo's, which I didn't actually pay attention to Nintendo that much. Um, no, I didn't either. Uh, Bethesda, I guess. Oh, you want to talk about so Todd? Last year, hmm. oh, oh, God, Todd. Oh, Todd the hero? Todd. Oh, Todd. Todd Howard oh, like Todd is, Howard. like, the He's greatest so thing ever. He is so fantastic for memes. Yeah. I also want to know, he's the... In all of E3, he is the only person who's qualified enough to go out and talk on a stage and do it correctly. I, I think I he's actually a very good theory. personality for speaking, actually. And, oh, yeah. um, like, people will meme about him a lot, but I think that's because they actually genuinely like him. It's not yeah. out of spite. So, well, like, Todd was first announcing like Todd. his game, um, Fallout 76, um, mm. what it's like, Rust, with you. Apparently, yeah, because it's online. Yeah, it's online, um... I can't say I really care about that much. I don't really care for Fallout. A lot outside of people of, like I, it. Yeah, I, I don't care for fall, Fallout outside of like New Vegas and one of two and one and two sure. in terms of writing. Um, yeah. Then Todd did something far more interesting. He told us where Skyrim is going to be released next. Yes, it's, uh, Alexa. Uh, which Skyrim six? Fuck. Well, firstly, uh, there is Skyrim for uh, Amazon Alexa, which actually you can yeah, download. Yes. You can't. Shut up. I thought that was a joke. No, I'm not kidding. So go to, go to Amazon Alexa Skyrim. Oh my goodness. I thought that was a joke. And go to joke. Amazon.com. It's like Bethesda Game Studios. Skyrim, very special edition. What? Why? You didn't know? I, I thought that was a joke. I didn't know it was real. It was real. Oh my god. So yes, for people wondering, <laughs> if you, actually, free to if you go to Amazon and like, um, it's under Alexa skills, Skyrim Very Special Edition is real. I'm, I'm looking, it's free. Free to enable. Oh my god. He also um, released it for um, Pacemaker, um, Etch a Sketch and Samsung uh, Sport Fridges, I believe. <laughs> I that makes that joke slightly even better. You know what? Uh, Todd also said "fuck," which is interesting. He did. I remember that. That was interesting. And that he was... called people degenerates. Yeah. So, um, off of Todd for a bit. Um, Elder Scroll Six, big nothing. Big nothing. Yes. Big nothing. Uh, Starfield, also big nothing as well. Big nothing. New IP, big nothing, though. Um, new IP that will be on new consoles, though. Yes. It's interesting. Um, kind of, not really. What else? 
Uh, there was... I felt bad for the people that, like, ran... That did Prey. Yeah, Prey. And, like, they were, like, putting the work in, but, like, they felt, like, kind of awkward on the stage to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot <laughs> one thing about Ubisoft was something I, uh, uh forgot. Um... They didn't turn off their mics after they went off the stage. Yeah, they didn't. Oh my god, did you hear that? Yeah, and there was one She's of the. Like, yes, we did it. Yeah, we one, nailed it. Yeah, we nailed it. We nailed it. One of the women at the Ubisoft, uh, this, uh, of course, is going unstructured. Uh, who cares? It's like the way this podcast goes. It's a big rambling mess. But oh, yeah. one of the women um, that was on the stage at Ubisoft after they got off, they didn't cut their mics properly, so you can hear off the stage. We nailed it. We nailed it. <laughs> oh my they continue that for like the rest of the oh, that was good. Keep hearing people oh my goodness and what are, I, I think one of them actually started that. like muted oh yeah <laughs> oh my goodness they don't know okay back to Bethesda yeah. whatever um what were we even talking about from uh, Bethesda fallout uh there were, uh pray no pray, pray the people there, there was a new with. dlc thingy that they were doing i think it was like like a horde mode or whatever or survival yeah, that, that looks like kind of interesting to me. I was like, hmm, I'd watch this. I'm not gonna play um, it, but I'd watch it. Wolfenstein, another DLC uh, standalone. This time you're playing as BJ's daughters. His twin daughters in Paris, which is kind of interesting. Um, sure. Doom Eternal, which I assume is going to be Doom their Eternal. equivalent of uh, Doom Two: Hell on Earth. Yes. Yes. That. Uh, uh, Doom. I was at so I was at GameStop like maybe two weeks ago, and I was I I never picked up Doom. I really want to. I was standing there looking at the box, and some guy next to me is like, "Nah, dude, not worth it, man. Not worth it. Play it myself. Not worth it." I'm like, "Oh, okay. That's well. Thank you thanks. for following the knowledge of random GameStop, um, customer. Yeah, that was that was so odd. No, I think it's actually quite good. Um, yeah. it's, uh, I, I can't say I'm necessarily a big fan of the platforming aspects to it, but sure. for general, um, Rudy Tootie point and shooty, it feels nice. Yeah. Which is typically not a game the, uh, genre I even, like, go after, but, yeah. oh. I remember the demo for that way back then, I really enjoyed the demo of that, and it was fun. Remember when, yeah, remember when right you couldn't eventually. see trailers, because, um... But they were all at QuakeCon and like you weren't allowed to record them or whatever. Oh my god, yeah. What they say was going to be at QuakeCon uh, that they didn't show off. I forget. I don't know. I know Quake Champions is out, which like yeah, that was it. Which like the, yeah, it's free right now. That's like what's very confusing to me about Quake Champions. The concept of it is that it's their their hero shooter, and uh, how they're describing it is that all of the your um, all the famous, popular Quake characters, but Quake doesn't have what? characters. Yeah, it has Quake yeah. Guy, which I guess is a person. It has, like, an alien sure. race, and I've seen every other type, and, like, those aren't characters from Quake. They're just, yeah, like, no. Overwatch analogs. <laughs> nope, yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Oh, man. Radical Heights. Oh. Cliffy D. Oh, Cliffy B. Cliffy B. Lawbreakers, oh. born to die. Oh man. What? what and then I guy. don't tell anyone that I'm laying them off, and I take the money from my studio, and then live and like reflect, but don't actually do anything. Oh man. Radical Heights lived for like two weeks and then died. Yeah. Oh man. I remember like the last night the server was up. I was watching someone play it. I was like, and no one was playing that game. It was like them and their uh, their viewers, I think, hopped on it for the last night. And it was just kind of sad. Yeah. Because <laughs> the game was just filled with MT and uh, NPCs. God, that, we also didn't talk about the Rise of Battle Royale games. Oh, yeah. Battle Royale, year. PUBG, Sue, Epic, and they and stopped the law. It. They dropped the lawsuit because they wouldn't win it. Um... No. Well, I guess we should probably uh, preface all the stuff. I think it's uh, what that um, people from Epic actually uh, originally worked or something with the code. Do you actually know the story behind that? 
We still haven't even finished Jeez. E3. Oh man, this is good. No, we, we're just jumping around. This is fine. Yeah, that's this fine. Is Who cares? We'll get to E3. So we'll get back this, to E3 later, would, everyone. The, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to it. So this lawsuit, I remember, it was filed in South Korea because the PUBG developers are in South Korea. And the way copyright works there is actually very different from how it works here. So they actually might have had a shot at winning the case, but they did end up dropping it. But why they sued, my knowledge was, I don't know if it was like, hey, someone worked here, went over there. But they wanted to try to... Because they have sued before. They have sued um, mobile games on the basis that they were also similar. So it was just like, the oh, this is like ours. Protect the IP kind of thing. Yeah. And they won those cases. Or they're in the process of winning. And it's very likely they're going to win, I forget. But I think it's something like but, their code is very similar or actually like uses something. It might. And, oh, or I because it's based it. on like Unreal or whatever and like Epic... Um, used uh, code like that, but yeah, they definitely dropped probably. it because Fortnite makes like probably even more money than PUBG at this point. Yes, definitely. And I don't care about either game, but I will have to say, like in Fortnite's defense, it is more unique and it's not built out of just like basic assets. It actually has an agree. art style yes. to it. I mean, anyone can be modern military shooter, realism graphics. I say that, and it's just like, you can think of like 20 games. So, so good on Fortnite, at least in that aspect, I suppose. Being different like that. Uh, uh, God, I cannot believe how big that, that genre has gotten. It, it's really gotten big. Like, it, I remember, what was it, uh... It's remember, like remember when, big. like, Overwatch was, like, what, like, fastest selling or biggest game in the world? And then, like... Yes. Then, like, PUBG or whatever, like, outpaced that by, like, a massive margin. And then, like, yep. now, um, Fortnite's done that, too. So much so that, like, terrible rap artists are, like, actually streaming it. And, like, they're actually, like, really bad at streaming games. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. It's insane how big it's gotten. It's just, it's... I remember it's just like, oh, yeah, you got PUBG, and everyone's playing PUBG, and it's like... And then the next month, this other game, Fortnite, has more players than PUBG. And it hasn't looked back. And it's just like... And now everyone's having a Battle Royale mode. Yeah, then right. uh, Cod Boy, which... Um, Cod Boy? Yes. We'll have a Battle Royale mode. Yes, Cod Boy. Um, we call it Cod Boy 5. because, like, the way it... Cod Boy. Um... Numerized um, in Roman numeral four, which is typically IV, but for COD, they're doing it I I I I four eyes in a row. Yes. So everyone just calls it COD boy. So I actually looked this up once because I've been looking at watches recently. Ben, I I I I was actually the original way of doing four. It really in, like, was Roman numerals. Yeah. Oh, so they're hipsters. Yeah, so they're the old school hipsters. They're doing it, which it looks dumb, though. I'm it, sorry. It does look dumb. <laughs> it looks. It really also dumb. like no one in common, like um, in contemporary um, knowledge, knows that is like for tip, yeah. traditionally. It's always like I, weird. Yeah, no, it's super strange, and they're getting a battle royale. Battlefield Five is going to have a battle royale. Yeah, it... Sea of Thieves just announced they're having a battle royale. Oh, a game that no one plays because people don't like the lateral progression. Yeah, and you know what's very interesting, man? You can kind of all track this back to your original OG battle royale. Do you know what that is? Um, you mean the um, the novel? No, um, uh, you're not wrong, but how about video game? Who did it first? With the original, oh, you mean like a Minecraft goddamn thing? Yes. Oh, you mean like Minecraft yes. fucking Hunger Games? This all stemmed Shut from up. Minecraft Hunger Games. Yeah. I get. That was the original. Uh, and speaking of Minecraft, I've actually been like watching these terribly cringeworthy uh, Minecraft compilation intros. Oh. oh, and they're all just, like, they always have, like, a bangerang or some, like, um, <laughs> similar, like, sounding uh, song in it. And it's just yeah. YouTubers killing other YouTubers. 
Oh my god. In Minecraft, and like they're all like trying to act like so tough. I remember the days when the Minecraft was like the number one thing on YouTube in like 2012, 2013. And you know what's And weird? it just died. Well, it didn't die, actually. We just like kind of like drifted apart. If you Did still it? go there, no, there's still a stupid amount of Minecraft content created. Really? Yeah. The Damn. fact that like there are still Minecraft intro compilations made. And they're, Fair and they're like what? 40 minutes long, some of them. Oh my god. Yeah, these are like insane people. Oh my goodness. Like, fuck. I don't care about this Battle Royale genre. Yeah, no, I do not either. It's so not worth it to me, and I don't care. Like, I'll probably end up getting uh, Cod Boy at some point. Maybe I'll try out theirs, but it'll be like one or two times. Other than that, I... They don't have a campaign! Can we talk about that for two seconds? They don't have a campaign because they don't consider it marketable anymore. Such bullshit. So well, I, I, they can't I write stories uh, well anyway, so... Black Ops 3 story was complete bullshit, so... They're enough. all bad. Yeah, they're not great. They, they're like... Dumb. I guess the only one you could they're, justify like as having movie. like an interesting story to a degree was uh, Modern Warfare. Yeah. Like, uh, was that the one when you die in the nuke, or no? Yes, that is the, the nuke one. I like how that used to be, like, the most controversial thing in gaming. A child like has died. Dying. Oh, yeah, Modern Warfare 3 with a kid yeah, dies. The, yeah, that happens all the time. I don't really care. Yeah, or, like, the no Russian mission in uh, MW2 where you shoot up the airport. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's oddly topical nowadays, that kind of a shooting. Yes. Hmm, weird. Huh. Unfortunate, truly. Oh, God, where... So, the... Uh, E3? Are we Battle going Royale. back to E3? Okay. I, I I don't have anything else to say on Battle Royale. Um, well, there were Sony's. They, Sony's, Okay, so yes. I don't remember how they actually opened with... Um, so, there's... they opened in a church, like in a physical church. Yeah. And then they started playing a guy in a banjo. Because they've been doing that music thing at the beginning, beginning of their um, conference for a few years now. Which yeah. Which has gone pretty well. It started with uh, the God of War, and so they had a guy in a banjo this year open up, and then they started playing the Last of Us Two um, thing they had show. Yeah, up. I uh, and... don't really want that. Not for what people may think, oh, because yeah. apparently the new topical thing is like, oh no, Ellie cannot be gay. Like, but yeah, been, she's she's, she's a lesbian. Oh no, no, like she's been like she kissed the girl in like. The DLC that yeah. had a comic for it, and then like you just buy the gameplay yeah. version of it. And no one, no one, I, either the internet did not play the DLC, or they didn't care, or they didn't care. But then, like now, like everyone like there's an issue. But no, this has always been like an established part yeah. of a character. Yep, and uh, the game looks fine. Although there was one dev, I forget who he was with, but on Twitter he called out. Naughty Dog by saying that their animations were fake for the the thing they showed off. Uh, Which I disagree because I recognize some of those animations from Uncharted 4. So there's a very unhappy dev on Twitter. Uh, speaking of unhappy dev, you hear about those people that got um, let go of um... Oh, what group that they were um... <clears throat> so, oh, uh, preface this, um, as we all know probably, Total Biscuit has passed away. Oh god, I that was on the list. Yes, uh, and that's the, just uh, like with March unhappy dead twenty sixth. Yeah, yeah. I can't say necessarily with a big fan of all of his content, but I will respect his memory. I don't like the fact that like his wife um, uses his Twitter to um, yeah. plug deals, even though it does support her, and that was probably his yeah. wishes. That still makes me kind of uneasy. Yeah, uh, I've watched only a handful of his stuff. But I always did respect the guy, so yeah, it's a it's a loss for the community. And a lot of devs on Twitter came out and said, uh, "They're condolences." But there were also like a quite a big deal of people that did not like him, uh, yes. and like they would like usually put him in like um, an asterisk between like Do or whatever and Total uh, Biscuit, since uh, they didn't want to be like seen and mentioned or whatever, because like they yeah. considered him like all sorts of problematic or whatever. Yeah, no, it's 
that I remember seeing that and I was like, what an asshole. Like, there was one guy who was like, thank God he's dead. The asshole ruins reviewing of games. I'm like, holy shit. You're really going to kind of do that like two days after the guy died. Yep. And not even just like have your opinions about uh, him as a reviewer. Like have legitimate critiques, which is fine. But just come out and be a complete asshole about it. Jesus Yeah, Christ. I've had a recent thing with that. Um, there's this um, long-form content YouTuber that I watch who, um, when I mean long-form, I mean like sometimes they make like 10-hour stuff. Because the idea yeah, behind is. them is that they um, want to make sure the message is out there, not regardless of how long it takes. And like they did like a very long critique of someone's um, one-hour video defending Dark Souls 2 and how it was bad. And of course, like, the person, like, only watches, like, the first ten minutes of, like, one of the videos. And it's like, oh, well, I appreciate his dedication, but but he must be mentally unhealthy if he, like, made something that's wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Like, oh. oh man. I think it was, like, even funnier that, like, one of the persons that showed it to them, it's like, this right-wing gamer. <laughs> it's like, oh, he didn't no. even have, like, a single political thing in it. And, like, they just called him oh, a right-wing gamer for, like, no reason. Jesus so, I guess Christ. back to, like, the um, Total Biscuit. So, do you remember, like, who the people were from that um, recently got let go? Oh, dear God. Um, was it, um, not Bioware? No, it wasn't Bioware. No, that was a while ago. Oh, boy. Yeah, this... Was it from Riot? Maybe Riot, but don't quote us. Yeah, don't quote us. Um, let me... Yeah, could you please? That what a sh- and he was like he was fired, like the next day. Thank God. What Guild Wars Two. Uh... Guild. That's it. <laughs> oh man, what an asshole! I'm glad you got. I fired. think it was two people actually. I know. I'm pretty sure one was a woman. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Um. Nice. Wow, that was the other big tirade. So back to Sony, I guess. Yeah. Back. To oh Sony, wow, this yeah. is like. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're all over. Yeah, it's that's fine. fine. That's what this uh, thing is. That's what we do. This is also just a general catch up in conversation. Yeah, it's been a while since so me, me and Ben have gotten to sit down and talk. So, um, back to that. So, okay. Um, Sony. Did, I guess, did you they say everything you want on Last of Us 2? Uh, it looks fine. Yeah, I mean, I like personally, it. in a narrative sense, I don't really want this because I actually yeah. like the way the bittersweet ending of the original Last of Us. Of how, like, you're supposed to be, like, questioning your actions. I mean, I wouldn't say it's, like, necessarily amazing. Last of Us is, um, just like all of Naughty Dog's games, are actually quite cliche. But... Sure. There was just something sure. so... I, I don't know, I... There's, for some reason, I like The Last of Us comparatively much more than I do Uncharted. You know, that's fair enough. I, I would accept that. Uh, Naughty Dog is, like old school like Indiana Jones esque action game yeah. movie. Murder no, the Last minorities, Raymond. <laughs> they do not yeah, feel well, Last of Us is more of a a personal story, yeah. I would uh, I would agree with that. Um so I guess that's all we'd really have to say with that. Um Ellie was yep. gay all then, along. There really isn't actually an issue. Um but I don't necessarily enjoy the fact that like the game is continuing off narratively. Um so, what else? Yeah. Um, there was a tiny so, uh, nothing trailer, just to get this out of the way quickly, of Neo 2. Oh, yeah, which I did not actually expect. Um, I'm actually not sure where the story is going to go, because at the end of Neo um, is the end of the um, Sengoku era, which is the warring states period of Japan. And there really isn't mm. that much conflict after that, so I don't actually know where the samurai game is going to go after this. Interesting. Okay, so uh, speaking of samurai, yes, games, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, not made by Japanese nice. people. Yeah, by um, su- uh, shit. Who was it? Sucker Punch. Not Sucker Punch. Yes, yes, su- by Sucker Punch of all people, which I'm very interested about. Uh, that looks gorgeous. Yes, they had the uh, man playing the Shakuhachi. Um, yes, on stage. <laughs> yeah, that that game looks absolutely gorgeous. Um. Interested to see what that, how that does. I want to see some more of it. I might end up getting that myself. Uh, what do you think? 
Um, I think it's uh, fairly interesting, yeah. yeah. Uh, good trailer, good time, great graphics. Uh, what else do we have? Oh god, Walking Simulator, Ben. Oh? Walking Sim 2019, I'm guessing, or 2020, whenever it comes out. Uh, of course, I'm referring to Death Stranding. Oh! We had a trailer, a trailer that I still don't understand what this game is. But you know what? I will sure as hell maybe play it. D do you know what this game's about, Ben? No one knows. No one knows. They An eight-minute trailer of Norman Reedus walking around, tearing off his nail on his toe at one point, and then getting eaten or sucked into oil by ghost monsters... And they have actual, like, A-list Hollywood actors in this besides Norman Reedus. They have, um, Leia Sudeau, who was in Spectre, the last James Bond movie. Um, and there's another woman whose name I forget, but she's also, like, a, another big-time actor. I don't know how they got these people, Ben, but they they, they have that. Infinite they money. somehow convinced them. Yeah, no, they have the infinite Sony pockets of money. And, of course, Mad Mickelson, which I didn't even mention him. Oh, I don't understand, but I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Uh, okay, what a Sony. Uh, Spider-Man, that looked good. I enjoyed that. That was the last thing they showed off. What else? I'm trying to think. I'm gonna have to... Uh... Sony 3 Games. 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 Uh, I don't know. VR, their VR thing's doing pretty good. It sold, like, over a million, I think. So good on their VR. Oh, God, um, Game of the Show. It won Game of the Show, Ben. What? Do you know it won Game of the Show? Resident Evil 2 Remake oh, won Game yeah. of the Show. Oh, yeah! How did I forget about that? It is not, I don't know. It's not gonna be fixed, camera. It is going... No. Uh, Resident Evil 4 over-the-shoulder camera. Yes. Capcom finally Very making games that people want. Yeah. Oh my god, that looked pretty good. I'm, in, I'm, I'm gonna pick that up. I Can we also talk about what happened in January as a release month? Everything is coming out in January. I don't understand. Uh, I don't know, because it's like, it's like right after, like, the big quarter stuff, and like... There's not actually, what was it, like, last November? Not even that much stuff came out, even. Yeah, nothing came out last November. It's really strange. And I don't think anything's coming out this November, either. Because even Call of Duty moved to October, which is really weird. So I think, like, nothing is coming out in November, unless maybe Assa no, Assassin's Creed comes out late uh, October, I think. So there's nothing in November anymore, which is really strange. Uh, Resident Evil 2, though, that looks... Pretty damn good. I'm, I'm excited for that. Uh, uh, um, new game from Remedy, who made Quantum Break for Microsoft Control, which looks like Quantum Break but with a lady. Uh, Kingdom Hearts that was all over E3. Oh, uh, Kingdom Hearts, a series I don't actually care about. Same, but a lot of people like it. Uh, with yes, they Mickey. like that, like, they can, um, play with, like, Mickey Mouse and... Oh, Sora, the darkness! <laughs> uh... God. Wait, Kotaku, is this really your list? Is, or did Sony just have no games? They didn't actually have that many, that's why, actually. Um, oh my God. if you actually go for the conference, a lot of it is talking about the particular oh, games. Nice. Because here's what Kotaku has. I'm just going to read them out. Okay, so Last of Us 2. Uh, Ghost of... Tsushima. Tsushima? Yes. Tsushima? Uh, Control. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, the, e the Kingdom Hearts 3 that they showed off. Death Stranding. Neo 2. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, what is... I think, Spider-Man! I, I hope it's good this time. I So they, they released an open-world... Um, swing through for like 30 minutes they released it oh my god ben somebody made that spider-man game i told you i wanted where what, they the had one like a one-to-one -one new york <laughs> oh i hope i get to deliver pizzas but it's legitimately 
almost a one-to-one New York, and oh. I recognize streets and stuff. Yeah, because it's never, like, actually from... New York. Whenever, like, they say something is, like, no. set in a city, it's not actually. Unless... And there typically isn't even, like, any landmarks that are, like, from that city that are present. Like, you'll, like with the Spider-Man games, you'll get, like, the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building. Well, like, say but if, like, something's in, like, Las Vegas or whatever, or, like, San Francisco oh, or wherever, it's never actually like that. No. Not Look, all. I'm actually like playing Final Fantasy XIV in the background, and I've been doing this um, relic weapon quest, and I almost like fucked up because um, I'm undersizing um, all these Heavensward dungeons. That was the previous expansion; you can do them solo now. But um, mm-hmm. to um, turn um, to finish this quest I'm doing, I have to actually have a specific weapon equipped, and like I was in like the final boss. And I, like, pushed them to 13%, and I was like, oh, shit, I don't want to waste this run. So I just had to, like, AFK and wait my- for myself to get killed. <laughs> oh, my God. But I'm um, back now. All right. Yeah, they- Sony did not have- No, they did folks, not, right. actually, and that's what I actually meant by that originally. Yeah. I thought- I, I thought I remembered more about- No. Okay, I, I remember one game. So they, they, they showed off this trailer- uh, pre their before their conference, and apparently the internet just went nuts over it, and it's the new Tetris game for their VR. I was reading through it. I was reading like reactions. The internet was losing. The oh, that's a woolly game. Like, yeah, a uh, Tetris effect. I'm like, okay, everyone's losing their shit over this. I don't understand why, but you know what? F- fair enough, I guess. Go for uh. it. So that was. That's Sony, I guess. Yeah, video game. Wrapped up pretty well. Uh, the only one uh, that would be left then would be Devolver Digital, which only has one game yeah. I personally care of note. Oh, yep. Metal Wolf Chaos. Got? It's finally Oh, my coming. God, yes. I forgot about this. Oh, my the God. The most American yeah. game made by, like, Japanese. Oh, my. So this is this is a straight-up new game. No, it is not. It is a... Um, is the first time oh, ever in English, um, Metal Wolf Chaos, fully translated. They might be doing some sort of, um... Uh... They might be doing some sort of bonus to it, but, um... No. Oh. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Yes! Um, there, there will be some upscaling of textures, but... Sure, of course. That is also by From Software, and um, I don't actually oh know God. where they announced it, but From Software is also working on a, v- a PlayStation VR game, which is very different. I was from. I was just looking at that. There are other things. It has a str- it has a strange name. It, I couldn't pronounce fr- it. I That's why French, I didn't right? say it. Um, yes, it is French. Let me see. Oh. I I couldn't pronounce it, so I didn't bother saying software, it. Software. Um, uh, it starts with a D. Um. D, that that looks like it. Derastide. I wouldn't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of other from software things, it's a, a possible leak. I'm not entirely sure if it's entirely valid, but um, you be. Uh, we have hot scoops here. From uh, hot scoop. Amazon Italy, apparently oh, leaked boy. a um, Bloodborne two, but with the mo- most fake ass date of December thirty first, twenty nineteen. That's not. Oh, the the place. Yeah, no, that date. Is, that's yeah. not a real date. No, that's always the place hold date, December thirty first. Interesting. And I mean, oh. I don't. I mean, I'd be interested, but uh, yeah. that's also a game like with the original Dark Souls. If you ever, if anyone ever asked me about this, I don't feel that like that is a game that should narratively have a sequel. And I don't feel that Bloodborne yeah. is really one of those games either, but people like the more of that game, and they don't seem to really care about that point. But... Yeah. Neat. So, yeah, that's the I'm only sure. thing that was honestly important about Devolver Digital, was um, Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah. Uh, did the PC show do anything? <laughs> no, of course not. I didn't even pay attention to the damn thing. <laughs> it's always awful. It's always awful. I don't even know why they oh, even bother. Yeah, it is. Oh, did we even talk uh, about Nintendo? Nintendo? No, we didn't. So Nintendo, they said sorry for delaying Yoshi's Woolly World 2 or something, I think it was. And then they also showed off a trailer for the new Smash, 
And you know what? Waluigi's Everyone not in is it. There. Waluigi is there. Waluigi is not there. Waluigi was humiliated by Nintendo, and his fans okay. are furious. Did you also know that, according to CNET, that Waluigi has big dick energy? Yeah, <laughs> I saw. But according to other websites, oh, like... Waluigi does not have big dick energy, but he does fuck. Hmm. Dear God. So leave that as you All may. These things it I is didn't proof think that about. Waluigi fucks, but we do not know if he actually has the big dick energy. Yeah. Did you see that thing a while ago when uh, Mario Tennis Aces was, was being like advertised when everyone was staring at like Luigi's? Dick oh yeah, he has a micro penis in his shorts. Yeah, that was that was strange. Uh, Luigi has a penis confirmed. Well, no, he has a micro penis. That's he has a they micro measured penis his bulge, confirmed. and it wasn't really that sizable of a bulge. There really isn't much of an oh whoa, what's this? Because you can't really feel it that much. Ah oh, man. Uh, poor Luigi. Poor Luigi. Always getting the short end of the stick and the short end of the penis. Yes. Apparently. Uh, they, I think they showed off a launch that, <clears throat> ooh, uh, Nintendo showed off the launch trailer for Nintendo Tennis Aces or whatever. Mario Tennis Aces, yeah. whatever. Mario Tennis Aces. And speaking of Smash, uh, um, did you know Smash. how Smash players are smelly? And how, uh, there is really? a smelly Thursday. No, shut up. Yes. That's not a thing. Because, like, apparently, like, when people are doing sets for a while... Like, they'll not shower, and um, there was oh, actually no. even, like, this big post on the Smash subreddit uh, saying how, um, that someone just said, y'all stink. Because <laughs> oh. apparently, like, uh, hygiene is that big of an issue in, um, the Smash community. This is... Um, and speaking of Smash, um, how, apparently, this might be the last year that they are at Evo, or whatever. Really? Yes. Um... Because they've been, like, losing popularity. They have, like, a very specific niche. And, like, uh, there were oh, sure. people, like, complaining about, like, how, oh, no, we bring in a lot of people. But comparatively to other fighting games, no, you really don't. So, um, maybe uh, Melee hmm. will no longer be at, um, EVO. Wow. And Maybe it's been at EVO go. for, like, a while now. It has. Like, when I think Evo, I think, uh, Smash. Yeah, yeah it's is, like, weird, really, really because it's not even a fighting about. game. It's not. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, I don't think Nintendo showed off anything else, to be quite honest. I don't remember. Uh, I don't know, maybe they had, like, a new Captain to Toad's Treasure Planet or I something. Don't I don't know. I forget. We the we are the mushrooms on the toads the uh, heads like a hat or like part of their skull. The age old question. I think it's a hat. I've seen images that imply hat, but you know I'm not. Quite you ever sure. see those pictures of Kirby with toes or Sonic with toes? Oh, it's super weird. They're really weird. It's like they it, like it's all completely normal, but they take the shoe off and it's like at the foot. It's very it's, unsettling. Uh, it's it's very unsettling. Speaking of Sonic Ben, Aww. uh our favorite blue hedgehog. Did you know he's getting a movie? <laughs> oh, it's probably going to be fucking terrible. I saw I so, saw another bad Sonic image, but like I don't think it's actually even safe for me to like talk about it on here. Oh no. No, it's like it was really no. bad. It was like really bad. I if you may uh not know uh gentle viewer, if there is even a viewer. Um I am quite a fan of, like, cringe and, like, just, like, vile stuff on the internet. And just, like, occasionally, like, oh, yeah, let's, it's time to go on to DeviantArt for the day, you know. I saw a really bad Sonic, and, like, when I mean, like, a really bad Sonic, like, um, it's not, like, a drawing. It was a plushie. And, um... Oh, boy. Should I even say this? No, I probably shouldn't even say it. It's, like... I, Your own discretion I am here. Okay, um, let me put it as this. A man used this, uh, singular Sonic plushie for 22 years to pleasure himself. Yeah. Oh. And the images provided were very vile, and there was also oh, no. a bit of poo on there. Ew. Oh, yeah, no. uh, that's, like, the most, um, cleanly way I can probably describe that. I could probably go Damn. into more detail, but I honestly don't want to. Yeah, that's, yeah, not, and yeah, that's, and that's what I was thinking about, of Sonic. People like yeah. Sonic, you know. 
Yep, they like him enough to give him a movie. So apparently this movie, Ben, is going to be a live-action CGI nope. hybrid. Nope. Uh, no, yeah. I mean, like, I, I believe you, but, like, no. <laughs> like, no, don't do that. And, and uh, Jim Carrey will be the voice of Dr. Robotnik. Or will be playing Dr. Robotnik. I don't know what they're doing with it yet. That just got announced, I think, the other day. So that's happening. Remember how Sonic Forces was terrible? Yeah, no, it was it was terrible. Remember that Sonic Boom? Also terrible. Yeah, apparently people kind of like the jokes on it. But, um, oh, I mean the cartoon, yeah. but like not the actual. Sure. Yeah, no, not good. Uh, there was something oh, else man. about Sonic that like, I was thinking of, but I can't remember it now. Uh, maybe it'll... Do they announce a new game? No, yet? I don't think so. No. Yeah, good. Probably for Bonic. the best. Sonic. Oh, man. And they saw that Mario movie, like, in the works. Yeah, do it again. Um, Mario uh, 2. Um, It's going to be a sequel to the one from the 90s or the 80s or wherever. No, I think it was, like, 92 or something. You, you ever was, watched that? Bring, uh, I have. You ever watched the animated Donkey Kong series? I watched all of that in, like, a day once. I did oh, man, not. that's really bad. Oh, man. That's, like... Is it? <laughs> a lot of them are really bad. Like, back then, Nintendo's, like, they've gotten a lot more protective of their IPs. Like, but back For then, like, all that, all that stuff is, like, awful. Yeah, it was. Oh, man. They kind of dragged Bob Hopkins' dead body out of, uh, out of the ground to play Mario again. Oh, man. No, they can use, uh, what's the, um, porn star's name? Randy, or, uh... Oh, God, um... Shit, I know exactly who you're talking about. Oh, uh, the one with the... Yeah, the mustache, no. yeah, no, that would be Mark. Ron Jeremy. Ron, Ger Ron, Ron Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah, that would be him, and Luigi would be Danny DeVito. <laughs> I wish <laughs> Luigi... I wish Danny DeVito was actually playing um, Detective Pikachu, but no, we can't have fun. Right, no. Gotta get Ryan Reynolds Yeah, like, oh, who fucking cares? Yeah. I don't, why are they doing that? What, Detective Pikachu? Or... Yeah. Why detective? Oh, because he's a marketable Pokemon. Oh my goodness! Yeah, our our buddy Chad, he still plays Pokemon Go. I, I don't. Apparently, why. people still play Pokemon Go, and like, I mean, I I say apparently, it's still like a massive title for that. Like a lot yeah. of people play, but I don't see that many people in my circles like talking about it that much anymore. I did know like a group that did like still touch it, but um, and it no. still gets like content, but I haven't. <laughs> played it in like ever yeah i i, I never touched because I, I never watched it when i was young so i was just eh. uh, i was always more into the games i mean there are <sighs> pokemon is just like one of those series that they just go on forever and ever and ever and like you're not actually if you're looking for like story beats you're probably not gonna get something that you really like sure because like it always has to, like, sort of pseudo-reset. Like, you can't really have that much gross, because, like, it's made for children. And, like, also, like, mm -hmm. the stories are just, like, so long anyways that, like, doesn't really even matter. Hmm. Well, all right. Uh, it, it'll be around for Yeah, it'll be I around forever. Announce new games. People also want to it? fuck Pokemon as alongside Sonic. Uh, so weird. But, whatever. Do your own thing, I guess. Do Just your own thing. Don't be like a certain pictures. fellow that I know that has brought his Pokemon, um, how do you say, literature? Into uh, university oh, no. with him. Oh, no. Yes. And, like, oh, no. it's not even like they don't even look humanoid. It's like, no, no, it's like fucking Slime Dragon. Uh, what's his name? Dra oh, no. To anyone that knows what that is. Yeah, um,. Some people are out there are very interesting fellows. Oh, yeah, I know so you know who I'm talking. Oh, oh, yes, him. I did not know he. Did oh that. yes, he is quite into things like that. Oh boy, oh, in jokes. Yeah, not even really jokes. Like, nope, just oh, grin. Yeah. Uh. And speaking of oh, that man. person, actually, like, but not really like continue that line of conversation they've also been sure. very into modding the switch which is actually something i would like to really? talk about because if sure. you know if you did not know there was a hardware defect with um really the 15 million switches that were um, originally um sold 
And like there has been an issued remodel, but due to it, it allows you to actually access the ROM. Hmm. And it allows you and it's not something that can, they can fix with the patch. It's entirely hardware right. based. And um people have gotten Linux running on it and they've gotten the Joy Cons sound and everything to work. So basically it's free reign for piracy and I will not have oh to buy a Switch God. game ever goddamn again. Oh my god. Holy shit, Nintendo. Yeah, oh it was it was a bad one. Oh my goodness. That's that's horrific. Yeah, no. How do you fuck up that hard? Uh, it was a complete design over line, and like you, I think like all you need is effectively a paperclip. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Nintendo. And it can't be taken down the um, hacking software because all the previous ones, like they uh, targeted by um, them stealing like Nintendo IP stuff. Um, this stuff though isn't actually connected to them in like that sort of name. So, they can't do any legal action to him. Wow. That is impressive, but Jesus Christ. Nintendo. Yeah. And I mean, like, if there is a developer I would like to support, yes, I will still buy their game, but oh, to yeah, a degree, definitely. uh, I could just kind of play really whatever. Yeah. All right. So I think that wraps up E3. Oh, yeah. On a E3. Boat. Video. Uh, so what have you been up to playing, Ben? What, what have we been playing? Well, um, to anyone who already doesn't know, I play Final Fantasy fourteen a lot. Yes. So much so that I, it is constantly, basically, always online. Um, this is true. I typically alt-tab. I, like, I don't, I, I can't physically, like, actually play something, like, literally all the time. That would be, like, with impossible. So um, I'll typically just like leave it running in the background, and I'll alt tab. I'll do something little, then maybe go back to doing something else. The current new patch is 4.35, and the newest content that me and my friend group have been attempting to do is a 100 floor dungeon called Heaven on High. Oh, hmm. It is That's a 100, uh, as I said, 100 floor. It's segmented into groups of 10. And um, it uses a separate leveling system uh, for the beginning. So um, you start off at actually level 61. And it's um, used uh, to... Um, primarily, the concept behind it, or the lower floors are just to level um, other jobs that people have at like level 61 and w when they want to get to 70. But beyond level uh, floor 30 the uh, difficulty starts to spike. And um, the whole process of getting up to floor 100 is A, very difficult and all consuming. Like, the whole process, if you're being careful, can take, like, up to five to six hours. Ooh. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, um, that's... I can, I can, like, talk for, like, hours about 14, but I... Would rather not, because uh, I feel like that's a very particular subject, and I'd rather hear like what you've been doing. No, oh, yeah, oh, got up. Uh, outside of working, I when God of War came out, I finished that. Uh, Data boy, quite fun. Ah, yes. Uh, what a good time! I I think I literally just one of the few times I've sat down and just binged a game all night for like a few days. Fun time though, fun game recommend it but then i play then i've been playing continuing i should say because i've been playing it on and off the like super extreme hard mode of horizon zero dawn whatever that's called oh. finishing that up because that's another md approved i'll give that my seal of approval other than that i haven't been doing much um i have a few things lined up for me and my sister actually sit down and play through she recently played through the well, we're going to play through the um, like the prequel s game for Life is Strange 2, which is coming out in September. Oh, that is uh, Before the Storm, yes. Uh, yes, and they also released a new one. Oh, that's um, right. Captain Spirit. Oh, yeah, um, it's, it's in like, the universe or whatever, but it's like you play as yep. this little kid. 
It's yeah. like, why don't the kids like me? Is it because my dick is small? It's like, no, because they can't write stories. Man. No, Luigi. No, Luigi. It's, it's because it's your Luigi. Uh, poor Luigi. Um, yeah, that. So I have that queued up for us to play through. Oh, and um, speaking of don't nod, they also made Vampire. Yeah, yes. Yes, Vampire just came out. Recently. Which um, is an interesting concept, but I feel doesn't actually um, fit. Uh, doesn't actually hit the landing as much as I'd like it to. Mm. So yeah. I would like to explain that for a little bit for people curious. So there's a, there's a sure. mechanic in game, and that they constantly say that. You require um, EXP uh, experience to unlock skills, so that's like very common. But the only real way to do that, they say, is killing civilians. And like, oh, so the okay. idea is that you're um, becoming friends with these people, so you're learning more about their blood, and their blood becomes more valuable. However, the difficulty of the game doesn't actually justify that. Also considering there are just, like, random enemies that, like, you can't be a pacifist towards, that, like, hmm. you will kill and you'll get experience and blood from them anyways. So, when you, saw Sanger, so hmm. you don't really... There's not that much of a moral quandary, and, like, the bosses aren't actually as difficult if you just, like, learn their patterns. Mm-hmm. For you to just, like, get by without having to, you know, kill your mates. Because you're also in London. Yes. Of course. Huh. So I didn't actually read too much into Vampire, but I did hear some pretty alright things about it. It's not it. bad. It is definitely not bad. I feel like it's actually really trying something. But I feel like it just sadly didn't stick the landing as much as it could have been. So back to um so you uh is this like an LP you had lined up? Um uh uh Life is Strange. Uh, I mean I'll probably toss up um Captain Spirit at some point when I get around recording it cuz I'm still going through Deus Ex. I've been watching so slight tangent the past uh, about 3 days I've been watching this guy called Hanky H E I N K I and he does speed runs and he was at Games Done Quick this year. And he did um, the original Deus Ex, which I'm going through right now for the channel. Yeah, where are you and at right human... now in Deus Ex? I'm about to break into Versalife oh. in Hong Kong. And then back to this and, tanky man. And this, uh, so he's a German speedrunner, and he did Mankind Divided and Deus Ex. He's also he's done every Deus Ex. Oh, game. even the bad uh, one. Speedrun it. Even the bad one, he did The Fall, and he did Invisible. Oh, those are the two bad was, ones, yeah. And then there's the Mankind ones, Divided, yeah. which is, like, the not a great one, but... The D's. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Uh, so, he did the original Deus Ex in, I think it was, like, 39 minutes. And there is some broken shit in that game I did not know about. Oh. And I might try... Oh, boy. Like, there's a... <laughs> There's like a super jump you can get that you can activate by just going into the menu really fast and screwing around in it. And I'm like, I could do this. This could be helpful. Because I'll be frank, I don't understand half the shit he did in that game or where he went and what he did. But I remember that and I would like to try that super jump out. <laughs> but yeah, that's going through the channel. Um, Captain Spear at some point, which could be me and my sister. Or maybe just me, if I can convince her to let me plug it all in and maybe we'll record together. Because we're always quite talkative when we play together. And I think she would. She really does enjoy that kind of stuff. And another thing, because she likes the choice in games, like making the choices and exploring, uh, there was a game that came out not too long ago, Ben, that was about choices. Oh! And you could I, make your own story. I, uh, I think I have an idea. Uh, it is it, it, uh, so, sort of a Motown. Yes, yes, it's Motown. Uh. And there's a demo for it. And I let her play the demo of this... Uh, he's like a cop kind of guy. And uh, he went through, did some cop things. And she quite liked it. And I watched the game on the internet. And I was like, this is pretty alright. So, so are, course, we, are we? Are um, you going to announce a new potential? Maybe a become human at some point in the future. Detroit become human, which I'm, I, 
Uh, what, what do you think, Ben? Tell me, what do you well, think? Well, I have not gone through it all myself. Um, nor have I watched a certain um, group's LP fully of it, as I know really? it'll probably be a fuck through. Um, <laughs> they're doing another Yeah, they're one. doing they the second gig, one. which they They're did. doing a second gig. Wait, the second gig, wait, like, that's actually a reference to uh, Ghost in the Shell, um, Standalone Complex. That's the name of the, mm. the second season. Um, right. Yeah, they, uh, the, uh, best friends, uh, who's, another actually little tangent about that, did you know that Matt's Twitter has been locked, or, like, uh, to, fo- uh, to um, people that don't follow him? Yeah, yeah, and I have no idea why. Weird. He also had, like, a mouse infection that he almost died from. Yeah, oh, sure. that was interesting. I did not know that. But, oh. yes, um, according to all takes, it's still, like, unsubtle. It's still, um... Oh, it's so not subtle. But it's definitely an improvement. It, I actually it like is it. the best David Cage game. Oh no, that's it Omicron. What are you talking about? Oh, I oh about man, Omicron I, entirely. I, I wonder if we could have like the Omicron lore playthrough. <sighs> I have it. I have it on Steam. If I can record it, like, go Ben. If you record it, I will let you stick that on the channel. I will give you the keys. Welcome you in on. Omicron. Man, I'd have to actually get like proper video editing software and like. I I will give you my information to get fraps. I don't care. <laughs> welcome in Omicron. Uh, I I'd actually be interested. There's actually a part of me that actually kind of wants to know like the world of Omicron in a weird way. Sure. I don't know if I'd actually do it in like a um, quote ethical way. I may use some uh, engines that allow for some uh, cheating. Go for it. <laughs> Go nuts with it. <laughs> we, we here on the MD channel do not care for this. Yeah, we, we're, we're not we Twitch. Entertainment. No. <laughs> no, only only Twitch streamers. Twitch. Not um, no cheating, cheating bad. But if it's you got the bats, no. Yeah, the bats. Yeah, go nuts. I don't care. Okay, I will consider it. I, I'm gonna have to. You, like know what I'd be talking about for Omicron. Sure, sure. Th- that'll be like, is that would that be like a first on YouTube you do it on the internet? <laughs> um, what Omicron? To understand the Omicron. The Omicron. I still don't understand it, and you know what? I'm completely fine with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, Detroit. Not bad. No. Oh. I love Connor, though. It's Connor apparently is Connor has been, like, the big fan favorite. And speaking of Connor, um, his voice actor and one of the people that also uh, was on the mm-hmm. game got married. Yeah, um, Brian Deckhart is the guy who voices Connor. He actually streamed the game, and he streams a lot, actually, on his Twitch, Brian Deckhart. He has a YouTube channel as well where he's been posting it. And he got married to... She was the... I think he knew her prior to the game. I forget, Amelia something, Amelia Clark, I think her name might be, it's Amelia something, but she's the voice of the blue-haired Tracy in the Eden Club, and the um, facial capture as well. But yeah, they they just got married, I think, like, three or four days ago. Well, congratulations for them. Yeah. And he also, uh, he Instagram stuff, uh, pretty cool guy, it seems like. Um, he also does and Chad is still Instagram concerned about questions. getting a female to touch him in certain ways. Yeah, oh. Oh, Why ben. is he so desperate? Oh, I, oh, Ben, I, I have a story. Oh, um, after, after oh, okay, we're done. because I have a story about like another person that I like recently discovered who almost went Elliot Supreme Gentleman. <laughs> oh, man. okay, but okay, um, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, after, save, after show we'll, we'll save that for the after show. That um, it might be the a bit too show. personal to put on the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So I think uh, the YouTube videos are about done. So if you've been watching uh, Criminal Past, oh uh, yeah, it's been done. I don't know. I all tap. I don't so care. Much. It's probably some yeah. I think it's terrible gameplay video. Time. That like you yeah, said, it's, it's crap. There's something in like the recommended. It's, it's like it's like Lara Croft running away from something. Lara oh Croft. my! Wait, is that mine? Is it? No. It, oh yeah, it's your it's your video. Yeah. It's, Okay, so there's, there's two Tomb Raider videos on my channel. One is the game just completely bugs out and breaks, and I fall through the world repeatedly. 
The other one, I spent actual time editing and put some dumb shit in it. I like it a lot. So check both those out if you're on the channel, viewers at home. <laughs> uh, watch, like, the first ten minutes of the one video where I edited it. And just, like, I think the other one's, like, a few minutes long. Oh, that, that reminds me, like, how, like, there's a new Tomb Raider game coming out. Now she's like, yeah, there she is will a new become Tomb the game. Tomb Raider. It's like she's becoming the Tomb Raider for two other games. Uh, again? Terrible ah, ludonarrative so dissonance. If I already wasn't spending so much money in September on video games, I would say, yeah, sure. But I'm like, no, I'm not getting this. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm I'm currently have I'm I've I was playing through the second one, but I haven't picked it up in a few months. To I didn't so. even touch the second one. The first one's fine. You get the Baba oh. Yaga. The ba Oh yes, I did do the Baba Yaga mission. Oh, that was weird. Oh, uh, I think I was, I'm just past the Baba Yaga in the second game. That was odd. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. So, I think that might be all I have for today. Uh, yeah, I believe that might be calling it a wrap. We don't plug ourselves, because this is already his channel, yep. and I don't really have a presence yeah. to do that with, and I would not really want you either. Yeah. Yep. So, thank you all so much for sitting down and watching. Really appreciate it. And as always, I have been MD. And I am Ben, and... Uh, we will do this next time whenever, I don't know. Maybe it will be even longer of a delay. Maybe it will be seven months next time. Now, I will try to keep myself to doing the once a month thing again, because I quite like that. Yes. But if something comes up, we'll see. Well, okay then. I guess that so, calls it a wrap. It does. Uh, until next time, better not cry, better not shout and tell. We get another goddamn podcast out. Oh, yeah. Until That's next our time. lingo. That's the lingo. Until next time, fuck Chad. Chad. Veronica! <laughs> <laughs>